Grab your Bibles, uh, going to Genesis. I'm going to teach a bit. How many of you didn't get a book last night? Let me see who I'm not prophesying to. Raise your hand. <laughs> I want to encourage you to, uh, to come stop by the book table. Make sure my suitcase isn't heavy going back home. Uh, uh, there are several books that are there at the table prayer books strengthen you in your time of prayer uh, uh one of our newest books is kingdom economics keys to kingdom prosperity uh the order of inheritance understanding really understanding the spirit of sonship how to walk that out i've, I've walked in covenant now with the same man of god for 21 years and uh am walking in the reality of the duality of grace there are portions of grace that only come upon you as you walk in agreement with a grace that God has set before you. It is possible for you not to yield and you'll have a single portion anointing. And you'll still be able to get some stuff done with a single portion anointing. Uh, Elisha comes under Elijah and uh, the double portion anointing comes upon him. He's able to get twice as much done, able to accomplish twice as many miracles because he not only had his portion, but he had the portion of his father. One of the assignments of the enemy is to keep the church locked into single portion demonstration and manifestation. So that the grace of God is never able to compound generationally. So then we are warring with generational strongholds and patterns with a single portion mantle. And the way you keep that grace from multiplying, from compounding, is to break relationships between sons and sons and, and fathers, sons and fathers and mothers and daughters. And, uh, and so I want to encourage you to get that book. I want you to really have a, a, a strong revelation, a burden about your assignment even in relationship to your man of God that God has not just assigned you into a church this is not just another church um, but he has assigned you into a space where there's a father one that God has given a grace to release graces into and upon your life Genesis chapter 8 we are going to talk a little bit tonight about normalizing the supernatural everybody say normalize the supernatural and I'm going to teach you a little bit on, on giving life to revival, uh, giving life to uh, revival. We are entering into a, uh, a season prophetically of dramatic salvations. We are, we are at the beginning of that time and space in the earth where you're going to begin to really hear reports of, of people who were strong off into the occult, into witchcraft, into false, uh, false gods and false worship, suddenly finding themselves being converted where God is releasing angels into the earth to go and interrupt people on the midst of their path like Paul and uh, to call them to come to Christ. Somebody shout it is so. And uh, we are believing God. We are believing God. God has had us in a place of just supernatural belief to see that realm of the supernatural unlocked for us. Where again, in this nation, there's a stagnation that is upon the church at large as it relates to seeing conversions and not just transfers, but conversions where people are converted out of the kingdom of darkness, converted out of the stronghold of the enemy and translate it to the kingdom of God. Genesis 8 and 4, then we're going to go to Matthew chapter 16. Genesis chapter number 8 and uh, verse number 4. And the ark rested in the seventh month and on the 17th day of the month upon the mountains of Ar Arat. Just keep that in your mind. We'll come back to that. Go to Matthew chapter number 16. We're going to work a little bit here, talk a bit here. My assignment uh, last night, tonight, uh, is, to, uh, is to work for you. And uh, our assignment collectively is to work for the region. Uh, as Apostle said, it's important that you have a, a wide perspective perspective about what these types of encounters are designed to do in the realm of the spirit and that you not just get locked into what you see naturally but that you discern by the spirit what God is intending to impact effect and release uh, into the earth uh, teaching especially when you are are sitting and teaching with an apostle with a prophet of God it is not just uh, a theological 
uh, teaching, when you are, are hearing the mind of God made manifest through the word of God, through the mouth of an apostolic or prophetic voice, it's not just theological. Somebody say it's supernatural. Come on, it, it is supernatural. God will unlock the mind of a man or woman of God and give them the capacity to walk into your life and begin to work things out through the word of God. That as you are sitting under the teaching, God is causing things to be corrected that have been out of order. He is causing things to be made clear that have been unclear. Somebody say, I receive that. To watch the rest of this powerful message, download Panorama's app, which is available in all app stores by searching Panorama Christian Center. Create an account to stay connected with Panorama Christian Center. One word from God will change your life. Blessings.